Hey guys! Wait. Follow the sound of my voice. Uh huh. Part of the mess. Uh huh. Warmer. Warmer. Yep. Hey guys! Vanessa, Felicity, Mandy from Lowell and Vanessa. You've not met me yet. And a good portion of the cast of Rosetta and Claire, the series that. Lola and I are currently working on for our collab channel, Lola and Vanessa. Go check it out if you haven't already. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. And subscribe to Lola, please. She really needs the subscribers, right? Yeah, I do. Still working on cleaning up in here, of course. Um, better than it was. Um, this is Weekly Wednesday webisode... 15? F it's 15, but it should technically be 16 since we accidentally skipped over number 9. So, yeah, I'm still working on cleaning up up here and up here in the YouTube studio. But going good and slow. And yes, those are the dogs. The kittens are in the back there. You can kind of see them, other various critters and. I am considering keeping my jumbo sized electric battery operated pet shops and my G3 separate from the rest of my collection. I am only going to do this because of space reasons. My G3s and the electronic pet shops up there at the top. Those up there, they take up a lot of space. And I was thinking if I just got if I just put them in a separate drawer, any G twos down here on the shelves on the very top shelf up there could be moved up and out of the shadows, quite literally. So I am thinking about quarantining my G threes because at this point my G two lions, ones up there, rest of them down there. They're separated, and that is kind of sad. And my G4s are getting a little bit out of control. I might quarantine those. I don't know. And when I say quarantine, I mean keep, keep, like, keep them separate from my G1s and G2s. G1s and G2s um, look alike. There are some subtle differences, like with the... The paint colors, the eye styles, but the biggest difference, the color of the magnets, and if they have any magnets whatsoever. So let me know what you guys think about me separating certain generations of pet shops and all that happy hoopla that I just talked about. I'm also thinking about doing this to the fairies because if I were to separate the, if I were to keep the fairies in a drawer, that means these guys here could potentially go up a level. Okay, all these back here are G3, G4s. So, these monkeys would be pushed back. And do you notice how I have so many of these little extra tiny, like, baby pet shops? Some of these are actually mommy and baby pets. I was thinking about separating them too, just like trying to group them together, but that has always failed in the past. Just let me know what you guys think and suggest organizing methods, because at this point, we're almost out. My glorious, messy YouTube studio. Slowly working on cleaning, but yeah. I do other things aside from pet shops. I work with something called Perler Beads. And I recently got all my, most of my creations together and threw them in here. I do my own random designs. I do Disney, uh, Despicable Me. a hint of Star Wars and other little various objects 
and I also did an iron cat. So yeah, let me let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments down below and I just want to take a moment and say huge, huge shout out to LPS Platypie for being so kind and commenting on some of my videos and I just gotta say I love you for that. And yeah, if you don't know who she is, go check her out. Oddly enough, both of our mascots are platypied. So go check her out if you haven't already. So yeah, just go check out the people I'm recommending. Even though, even though Lola doesn't upload as much as she probably should, she's still a really great person. And the reason she doesn't upload as much is where Aubrey lives, she has two younger brothers and both of her parents, of course, and she doesn't have a whole lot of filming space, so she tends to come over here and film over here because I have more space and I have much more accessories. And Lola and Vanessa, our collab channel, I've uploaded two videos on the channel myself, but Lola hasn't done any, and I hope we can do that soon. We've been teasing so many things, but we've just been so busy with our lives, school, other things, that we haven't had any time to get together and actually film. I mean, she's been over and stuff, Aubrey, but just not enough time to actually film. And when we do film, it's only a few minutes and it's totally worth it. Um, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.